Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your guy Dwayne from DMS Sense. Hey, today we're gonna be talking about a fragrance that I just picked up. I really haven't had a chance to wear it. You know, I just been spraying it up in the air here and there. Sprayed it on the back of my hand, just see how it would smell on my skin and things of that nature. And the scent we're gonna talk about today is Frank Olivier, Olivier. Here we go. And the fragrance name is Oud Vanilla. Oud Vanilla. Pretty bottle, guys. It's a fingerprint magnet. Most of them are. They, they just tend to just collect a lot of fingerprints. And if you got on a good ring light, and you, 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 you know you're gonna see them. So don't judge me on the fingerprints, guys, because I've been playing with this one most of the day. Uh, like I said, I just picked this one up. I haven't wore it. I, you know, spraying it here and there. Put it on the back of my hands just to see how uh, it'll smell on my skin. And I can tell you guys, it definitely did the thing. It smells amazing. Uh, opens up with that warm, woody spice. Uh, you get some of that vanilla. We all know what vanilla does. It's a scent, it's a cord that no matter where it's at, where it's sitting at in the fragrance, I'm gonna check that fragrance out. And one that I haven't smelled in, it's, it's, it's a very sweet smell, because I, like I said, I had sprayed this one. I get a lot of caramel out of this fragrance, guys. A lot of caramel. And I didn't know how to feel about that, but I can tell you after spraying in the room and spraying it on the back of my hand, they did their thing with this one. It's a cheapie. It's not, it's not a real expensive uh, fragrance. I think I paid $20, $25 on Fragrance Buy. And to me, you can't beat those type of buys, guys. Uh, when you see something like that, I tend to just grab them, you know, because if I wear it that one time and I don't like it, it's just going to sit on my shelf. It's just going to be in my collection or I give it away. But most fragrance, I try to do my homework on them and make sure that it's something I can really get behind or something that I can wear and just not sit there. But sometimes it happens like that, especially when you're doing blind buys. And I do probably 70% of my buying, you know, from Fragrance Buy, and that's due to blind buys. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. For what I spend, if I don't wear it, I'm really not losing much. But this fragrance right here, guys, it, it smells good. It's a blind buy safe fragrance. It's a unisex fragrance, but I, to me, it seemed like it's more masculine. But I know a lot of the uh, fragrance houses now are targeting men and women. But this one comes a little masculine to me. So I would say it leans more on the masculine side. Great smell, baby. Great one, great one, great one. This is a date night scent. It definitely is. You probably can get away with this one casually as well. Uh, summer and spring, can't do it a little too strong but I'm one of those guys like if you pay for something and you feel you want to wear it wear it you spent your money wear it but I will dial down the sprays if I wore this in a warmer climate uh, I say you don't need six or seven you might can do this one with three I'm not a reapplier so that three should do me good if I was in an office setting a classroom setting a setting where I'm around a lot of people you don't want to be that guy. You just don't want to be that one that be like, man, he choked out a goddamn room because he put too much cologne on because he's fishing for a compliment. You ain't got to do that, guys. If you smelling good and if you being confident, somebody will approach you and say you smell good or you smell great. So don't have to overspray it, guys. But this one, I would say if you're going to wear this in an office space or if you're going to be around people that's in close contact with you, I would go three to four. Four is the cap, but if you outside and you know you're gonna be around some air and you just by yourself, I'm going to eight. That's what I usually do. It, I I try to get away from my eight, but it's eight, and I'm out the door. So guys, it's definitely blind by safe. Just get your nose on it. You might enjoy it. You know, it's a scent that's you know it's gonna have its detractors and it's gonna have its attractors. And I'm on the attractor side, guys. So I'm trying to open up my palette some more in more different scents. And this one definitely did. Like I said, it's woody. It has that caramel. It has vanilla. Once again, we know what vanilla does to me. And it, it hopes up with that powder. And guys, try it. You will not regret buying this. This might become your signature scent. 
because I'm definitely going to give it a shot next weekend. It's going to be cold, so we're going to see if this can radiate through the cold weather, guys. So with that being said, see you on the next one. This is it right here. Ooh, vanilla. Oh, one thing, guys. I mean, th this is important. This is an oud vanilla uh, based fragrance, but I do not get a ton of oud from it. So if you guys are scared about buying anything with oud or just using anything with oud, get this. It's not going to run you away because, like I said, the oud in here is very little, if that. You're going to get more of that woody, that vanilla and that caramel and that powder. So, guys, check it out. Oud vanilla. You won't be disappointed. Until then, talk to you later. Thank you.